Well, speaking of weather, it's cooler today than earlier this week, but it's still pretty warm out there. So on track three meteorologist Katie Melvin joins us and Katie, it's a little bit hazy out there too. Yeah, it is still a bit hazy out there in New Mexico. We're still fighting some of those wildfires. We're still seeing some of that haze and then also it's just hot outside a mixture yeah. of all of that together. It's just not so good, but we are going to see some rain that's going to be washing away some stuff, especially like pollen. I am definitely over the pollen and um, speaking of the rain. So here is radar right now. We are tracking some pop up showers, which I know is hard to believe if you're near a window. I know you see sunshine, but we have some warnings just to our west. This is not yet in our region, but that is for Missouri and something else to note. It's a very active storm. It's a very summertime like storm. There is a lot of lightning associated with this as well. But like I said, if you're near a window, it is sunny outside Poplar Bluff right now. Blue skies and 87 degrees, so we're still well above where we should be for this time of year. And uh, yeah, it is just definitely really hot. Everybody out there experiencing somewhere between the mid to upper 80s. Mount Vernon and Marion right now both at 87. Sparta is at 85 and Cape Girardeau is at 89. So definitely a hot one out there. And tonight we do unfortunately have the threat tracker upped, not because of warmer temperatures, because we are tracking some of those scattered showers and storms. They're going to be sticking around with us, picking up a little more strength tomorrow, uh, looking at afternoon and evening. And then Monday, it's going to be nice, warm, back down to the 70s and sunny. So right now radar, what we're tracking is this cold front extending across the Midwest. Thanks to this low, uh, we do have some storms just to our west over Missouri and Arkansas, some to our east as well. Right now we're not too bad, but that is going to change tonight and tomorrow. Radar right now, a couple pop up systems here and there, but as soon as they pop up on radar, they kind of diminish as well. So we just saw a lot of activity right there after an hour passes it goes away. So a very quick system, but it can be strong at times. Heavy rainfall for sure, but then we take a quick break um, overnight and then we're seeing more of that rain tomorrow. If you want to get outside and maybe mow the grass tomorrow morning would be a good time tomorrow evening, not so much. And then Monday looks to be nice as well. So the timing of this uh, tonight, we're looking at about a 20% chance. It's a very isolated scattered event. We get a quick break tomorrow morning. So if you're heading out, have any plans, that's the best time to do it into tomorrow afternoon and evening. It does pick back up with the majority of it being in the evening through midnight. So the storm prediction center for tomorrow does have most of us under a slight risk for something severe stretching across Kentucky, parts of Tennessee, as well as Southern Illinois. Just on the very western side, we do have an enhanced risk. So the biggest things we're really watching with this is some localized flooding thanks to heavy rain, possibly some wind and hail, depending on how some of the cells set up. Tornado threat is pretty low. It's not at zero, but it's definitely the least thing to be concerned about. If you have any plans, it's great to download that Storm Track 3 app and have some way to get watches and warnings. And as Brooke was just talking about, there is an eclipse this weekend. Unfortunately, if you do want to see it, it might be a little on the hard side. We are tracking a lot of showers and storms, and as we just saw, it's going to be happening tomorrow night. But taking a look at your 7 and 10 day, there is a lot of rain, I know, but it is going to be a very scattered week uh, like we've been seeing for the past couple of days. It's just that time of year dipping into the 70s, at least a quick break from all the heat on Monday. And then we're back up to the 80s for the rest of the week with some scattered chances of rain off and on. Well, I know a lot of people have graduation this past weekend, so a lot of people are having parties today. Hopefully those wrap up by this evening before some of those showers come in. Yeah, it's definitely not something you have to cancel your plans mm -hmm. over, but tomorrow evening you're going to want to keep an eye on it. Okay, well, thank you so much, Katie. Thank you.